So what can we learn? Communication isn't only about ideas. Even if it's difficult to share new information, we can share positive feelings with a smile, a laugh, a hug. If a person feels loved and appreciated rather than a source of annoyance and problems, they'll relax more and communicate better. Finding out how best to make the communication work can become an interesting project. That approach makes it easier to cope when something doesn't go well. It makes it easier to laugh and not take it all too seriously. It helps keep away from the sense that someone's to blame when it's the disease which is to blame. It's helpful to think about what it's like to be the other person. If we can imagine being in their position, we can work out what they would find most helpful. It's not that difficult to recognise how, if we're struggling to express an important idea, it's hurtful when the other person tuts, turns away or gets cross. It's useful to imagine a range of different ways in which someone in our situation might respond and then choose the options that are most constructive and humane to all parties. That doesn't mean ignoring our own feelings and pretending everything's OK. That's not at all constructive or healthy. But it may mean experimenting with being a different person in situations where we tend to have a particular response that isn't working. It helps to talk to other people about what they might do in a given situation and to experiment with doing things in different ways. In particular, it's important to notice which challenges keep arising and how they typically turn out. If every conversation is ending in tears or with a door slammed or with a feeling of rejection or failure, clearly something needs to be changed. Although there are lots of potential ideas out there for how to communicate better, each situation is different and each pairing of people is different. So in the end, It'll come down to our own observation in our own situation and to our willingness to take an interest in what's happening and look creatively for solutions. A creative, interested approach can take the sting out of the problems so they hurt less, annoy less and create less guilt and anxiety. We owe that to all the people we encounter and to ourselves to everyone who is affected by dementia, the communication disease.